a day of reckoning for the Walla Overlord at the forecourt of his 104-year-old palace filled with maids of people from all walks of life, including the country's vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. One half of the city people, the fourth, is expected to either walk or jump over this white cow tied and held to the ground. He is supposed to walk or jump over without any part of his body or gown touching the cow. It is the practice since the era of the first chief of the Wala Kingdom, now solely 400 years ago. It is a point where uh, close associates and relatives of His Majesty would be feeling that how is it going to end, knowing the implications of the two ends of the pool, success and otherwise, but God forbid anything short of a successful jumping. And then we also trust that the prayers that have always been said for His Majesty and His Kingdom by the clerics, the traditional clerics, the Lema talk, and many others have always been answered by the Almighty Allah. Majority of the royals from all sides, including the landlords, the imams, the Yerinemini, in fact, the people that form the Wala State, they are in a pensive move, praying for a successful outcome of the Wana to have a successful job over the cow. That's why in this period, right at the Wana's palace, it's not time for merrymaking. It's a period of somber reflection. They are in pensive mood. For members of his immediate family, especially his first daughter, Princess Barkisu Fusini Pelpu, who learns the rudiments of the tradition and culture from her father, she wished a day like this should not have been on the calendar. As a result, Princess Barkisu has not gotten the heart to be among the crowd to see through the cliffhanger. Outside the palace, there is no difference. There is apprehension. I see the cow lying down here, and the one himself. Alongside the family and his friends, even including me, we are not all happy now because this is a test case. If he fails, you will see us all morning, which means that all is not well for the state. And if he's successful, you will see jubilations and other things, and uh, the day will be a great day for us. So we are all praying for him. To demonstrate his strength and ability to continue to rule the people of Wa and indeed the Wa state, made up of about seven paramounts. So it is a time we all are praying for him, looking up to God and hoping that he'll be able to do what his ancestors have done before. The Wall Overlord appeared at the forecourt wearing a talismanic smoke that used to be worn by his grandfather, Napilpo III, during challenging periods 100 years ago. He was sandwiched by representatives from the 12 recognized sects that formed the Wall State to go around the cow. The Imams led the way with recitation of some verses of the Holy Quran, praying for a successful job. It was tense and emotional. Few times the movement slowed and the Wana secretly peeped at the helpless cow. The crowd went dead following the drumming signifying the completion of the seventh round and the occupant of the Wana's palace had a 15th successful jump over the cow extending his way. The crowd went agog and frenzied. He retired to his palace, returned, dressed in a blue-white embroidery gown known in local parlance as Bromoa, with his medallion dangling on his neck with smiles. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wow.